what is this strange and unusual place I film from, you ask? Welcome to my new studio. It's gorgeous, and yes, I am filming from an angle that reveals as little as humanly possible. It is too hot in here. <gasps> so, why the new studios to begin with? Essentially, when we first moved into the house, which was a little over a year ago now, we had Studio One, which is the bigger room. Back then, we both primarily worked in digital creativity. We did photography, we did videography, we did graphic design and all of that kind of stuff. So I think we did pretty much digital and we just had loads of technology and equipment and all that kind of stuff. So that's what the studio was built around. But then over time, we started getting more into the physical creation and crafting, which meant that after the fact, we kind of added in this kind of workbench creative corner to the technology-based studio, which was a little bit Frankenstein together, which then brings us to Studio 2, which is the little one that you guys have seen me filming in before. Now, Studio 2 originally started its life as my home office because I used to work largely remotely in marketing. Over time, the corners of it just started creeping up with loads of craft supplies and then eventually I don't work in marketing anymore so now it's just used as crafting studio full time and it wasn't built for that purpose and it was kind of ill-fitting for it as well like you've seen how I've had to <laughs> try and work in such a small space and largely just be in the living room instead so it was it was something we really wanted to to solve was just kind of switch around the functions you know they make the little studio the the tech digital based one and the big studio the crafting workspace kind of one. So good. I love hot chocolate. So that was our motivation, which then brings us to the great switch. Starting with Studio One, we had this big black wall, which I didn't want to keep because I like spaces being light. So that was going. We also had this wall covered in foam, which just helps with noise when you're filming. And again, I didn't want to keep that either because I wanted it to be light and airy. <laughs> so that all had to go as well. I did decide in the end to just delete the shelves, but I did keep the big one on the workshop wall, which then brings us to the workshop wall. The fun fact about the workshop wall is the paint on it it's actually textured, which means you can't just cover it up because it will stay textured. So that also need completely sanding to smooth it all down. And I decided to wallpaper with some wallpaper that I've been clinging onto for the past almost six years. I'm very glad that I finally had a use for it. And then I decided to be even more extra and actually add in some wooden features. Also needed to sort out all of the hooks on the wall as well as all of like the nails that we use to put pictures and stuff. And that's about everything that needed doing DIY wise for Studio One, which brings us to Studio Two. I freaking love the elephant wallpaper. Daniel hates it. <laughs> I begrudgingly agreed to take it down. It's fine. Instead of the wallpaper, just a nice sleek black wall with the workshop bench unit going against that. We then decided to put the hooks back up for the equipment above the bench this time and then to have that be quite decorative uh, with some pictures and some decor. We also decided to leave more space in the big room for actual creation to leave some of the IKEA Y units in the small room so it'd be more of a storage space as well as for using the computer. Gonna have to paint over the uh, little message I have on the wall. And aside from that, we just need to switch over a whole bunch of furniture and do a whole bunch of cleaning and sorting and tidying and yes, it is going to be exhausting. Before we could start anything, we had to empty out both rooms entirely into our living room. We also had to take down all of the hooks and shelves and anything else we had up on the walls. We had a lot of fun listening to the phone peel off the wall. It got considerably less fun when the phone started ripping instead of peeling and we were left with huge chunks on the wall. It looks like 
there's like mold. Yeah, it looks like a It's disgusting. It's disgusting. Oh dear. Right, okay. I think I'm put that. <laughs> I was sad to see it go, but taking the wallpaper down was the most satisfying job of this entire project. kind of abandoned them to do something while I cook tea, which I'm very grateful for to be honest because I really didn't want to do the something. I hate it, it's so messy, it gets in your eyes, you can't breathe. As a whole, we've done pretty all right today. I'm not even sure if you can hear this, it's so loud. Empty both studios, all the wallpaper has come down, that has almost finished the sanding. So we're probably going to clean it all up in the morning because we need to hoover and wash all the walls and that's going to take a time and we're just out of energy. And then tomorrow we'll be painting. I really hope all of this is worth it. <laughs> I got straight on the cleaning as soon as I woke up because I had no idea how long it would take to get all of the dust off. Unfortunately, hoovering the walls didn't really work, so I had to scrub them all down with a cloth as well as the ceiling, all before 7am. I'm just messing, Dan did loads too. After the first white coat, we moved over to Studio 2 to get the black wall done. Behold, our current living conditions.
whilst I'm up, I thought I'd share the origins of the stencil. Ben wanted the studio to have a vintage factory vibe, so he came up with this design which had his name in it, which I then spray painted whilst choking to death because the mask I wore did absolutely nothing. The end. Yep. <laughs> Finally, it was time to move everything upstairs and unbury Paul Jenkins. Frankly, this point could not have come sooner because the living room was stressing us out. Today is day four and honestly we were kind of just taking a rest so I thought I'd just update you on where we got to on days one through three. The main decorating thing left to do is to wallpaper the wall that is currently opposite me because that is still the, uh, the stencil and stuff on the wall which I kind of thought about doing today but I'm just so tired that I haven't yet brought myself to actually do it so I might do that today, I might just procrastinate a whole lot. Whilst I didn't get the wallpapering done, I did fill in the holes on the wall ready, as well as measuring and cutting all of the wood to go over the wallpaper later on. Paint from the other side so I can get some action shots. paper that I shall be using is this lovely stuff. It's like, I call it my pirate wallpaper, but it's not pirate wallpaper. It's kind of like mappy, but in a very neutral kind of tone. So it's gonna look really nice and light on the wall. I bought this when I was 17 because I finally had my own room for the first time in my whole life. And I was so excited and I was allowed to decorate it. And I bought this wallpaper to go on the wall behind my bed except when we stripped off all of the old wallpaper that was already there and obviously like this house is like 60 years old so there was many layers underneath it and we had to take so many off that in the end we were just left with bare plaster and I kind of loved how that looked so I ended up just having a wall of bare plaster in my bedroom and I just saved this wallpaper for future use and I have now finally got a future use, so I'm really excited to finally be using it. Like, I honestly don't even remember what this looks like because I haven't seen it at all. I've just seen it rather, but it's nice. I like it. Let's have a look. I cannot wait to see this on the wall. It's gonna look so good. I'm just, I'm feeling so nervous about this. I. 
I know I've done it before, but that was like a year ago and I was young and cocky back then. Now I'm just old and nervous. Um, here with the quantity of cold water required, see table. It says table, but it literally just has one set of numbers, one row. Why is that just not said with the paragraph? literally no need for that to be a table. Sprinkle full contents into whilst whisking briskly for 20 seconds. Leave for 90 seconds. Stir thoroughly before use. Seems a simple enough. Just doesn't feel brisk enough. going so thick. It's like, does anyone remember that stuff that you used to put in your baths when you were a kid and it kind of just turned into like pink or blue sludge? That was the shit. <laughs> Time for another stir. Oh, that is thick. <laughs> sludge. Come get a look at this. Well, that was thoroughly not fun. I remember it being easier. It bubbled a lot and that took off now. Leaving the wallpaper to set, I headed back over to Studio 2 to put up the equipment hooks and secure the tall units to the wall. on it and it feels a bit better. <laughs> that really hurt. <laughs> that bruised my nail for a good week afterwards. Aside from my rocky start, getting the wood up was frankly quite quick and easy.
And with that being the final time lapse of the video, we are ready for the review. Well, I don't know about you, but I thought that was exhausting. <laughs> but I'm so glad that they're done. <sighs> it got stressful. <laughs> and I figured I'd finish it off with a nice, relaxing, celebratory drawing of a chore. Thank you so much for watching along. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button to see my new studio in practice, and I will see you all in my next video. What are words? I've not used some of the colours before, so you've kind of got to do that thing for you. Press it to get the ink to come out.